Time to make a wish. So before you come to Paris, you make a wish to go to Paris. And then once you get there, you gotta pick up a dandelion and really hope for the best. You hope for the best because like so many other people, moving to Paris is a big dream of theirs. And once you get there, you want to make sure it's everything that you hoped it would be. It can be scary and nerve-wracking no matter where you move. Um, exciting as well, let's not forget that. Um, but especially when this is something you've thought of doing your whole life, it makes it a little more daunting. Even though I was moving from Nice to Paris and I had already made that big jump across the pond, it was still something, you know, moving into a small, tiny studio, student apartment with my little mini fridge there. So my first official night there, I had to go down and see the Eiffel Tower for the first time. I knew I'd be seeing it a lot in the daytime, but I wanted to see it all lit up in all of its glory at night. And I have to say, it was one of the few moments in my life where I felt like a kid in a candy store. It was really magical to come out of the subway and just see the Eiffel Tower standing there like that. And since I've been in Paris, um, I moved to the south part of Paris, so I'm close to a lot of attractions that are a little bit outside of the city. And this estate has become one of my favorite places in or around Paris. This park holds a mid-18th century castle housing a museum of art and ceramics and is surrounded by formal gardens with fountains. Um, I walked this park for hours and actually still haven't found the castle so I need to go back. But I did however walk into this. Every year in Canada, I always miss the Cherry Blossom Festival. I've tried going for like five years now and always get to the tail end of it. And now I'm in France, right near Paris. And I was walking through this beautiful park and I walked right into the most beautiful Cherry Blossom Festival. Okay, I'll find tickets to the Crazy Horse, but that's an evening thing. So, let's see. All right, okay, we're going there today. There are so many things and places I wanna see in Paris that I couldn't start picking things when I first got there. It was a little overwhelming, so I made a uh, little spin the wheel challenge every day of all the places I wanted to go and see, and it helped me pick <laughs> while I was uh, a little confused on what to choose. Um, like, where do you even start when you have a year in Paris and so many places to go? Well, I ended up at Bastille. I was walking down one of the neighborhoods that the spin the wheel challenge found for me and I just walked right into it. No plan of finding it, just found it. And um, found this beautiful dock near the water as well. It's right behind Bastille. 
I think that has to be one of my favorite things about big cities and especially about Paris is that no matter where you walk it seems like you'll sort of saunter into something new that you've either never seen before or something you've seen in pictures but have yet to experience yourself. So it's a pretty cool place for that reason. The docks and canals through Paris are a really cool place to hang out. You'll always see people playing games, playing music, especially on weekends. You'll see little parties and just people doing their thing and having fun. And it's a great place to meet people, people watch, or just chill out and hang. Moving to Paris has been a real adventure so far. This is only a quick capture of some of the things I did in the first couple of weeks. Obviously I had to unpack and do all that fun stuff, but um, I got to see some amazing sights right away. And I'm really excited to see what else I get up to while I'm here for the year. And. Um, anyone has any recommendations of places that they've gone or seen in Paris or the things they love or don't like about Paris, um, please send them in the uh, comments below. I'd love to hear your experiences and hear your stories. And uh, I look forward to continuing to share mine. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below.